Alcohol use can be associated with various physical and emotional issues. The negative ramifications associated with alcohol use are related to the amount of alcohol that a person uses, not to the type of alcohol consumed. There are two main types of alcohol abuse, binge drinking and alcoholism. Binge drinking is the consumption of a significant amount of alcohol in a single time span, and is considered to be significantly more than one would normally consume in, in that time frame. Binge drinking behaviors typically begin in late adolescence or early adulthood, often when individuals are in college or university. Those who continue to binge drink are more likely to become heavy drinkers and to develop issues with alcohol abuse or alcohol use disorders. The formal criteria to objectively measure binge drinking episodes was put forth by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, or SAMHSA, and the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, NIAAA. This criteria consists of three main points. The consumption of four or more alcoholic drinks on the same occasion within two hours by females at least one day during the month. The consumption of five or more alcohol drinks on the same day within two hours by males at least one day a month. The consumption of alcohol in a single time frame that raises one's blood alcohol concentration to a level of 0.08 at least one day a month estimated for most females and males as being the number of drinks listed above. Heavy alcohol users are considered to be individuals who binge drink five or more times during a month. Drinking like this raises the concentration of alcohol in the blood, as the body's vital organs are unable to clear out that much alcohol in such a short time span. As we have just discussed what binge drinking is, we should examine what alcoholism is. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, outlines alcoholism as dependency on alcohol. Individuals with alcoholism, or alcohol use disorder, AUD, have a strong craving for alcohol. Often, they continue to drink even when doing so causes them physical or social problems. People like this may try to limit or stop drinking, but they may be unable to do so due to the cravings they feel and the drinking habits they have. Someone with alcoholism typically drinks every single day. This is a pattern of behavior that people find difficult or impossible to amend. Someone cannot drink just once and qualify for an alcoholism diagnosis. The behaviors must be repeated in order for the diagnosis to be made. Today, alcohol is the second most abused substance in the world following nicotine. But what really occurs inside our brain of those suffering from AUD? It is currently understood that chronic alcohol consumption is associated with an increase in inflammatory cytokines in both the peripheral and central nervous system. Alcohol induces an inflammatory response in the brain, which increases the thickness and length of microglia, the immune cells of our nervous system. Thus, they become activated and induce the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines that unfortunately result in neurodegeneration. Also observed in patients in is excessive release of neurotransmitters, which are the signaling molecules of the brain to help coordinate and communicate. These two molecular mechanisms are only a few things of what happens on the micro level of one's nervous system, where these changes occur in all parts of the brain. However, these abnormal conditions are much more pronounced in regions of the brain involved with reward sensation, in addition to the parts of the brain involved in decision making. This explains why those affected with AUD tend to struggle with addiction and often relapse. There are many risks associated with both binge drinking and alcoholism. People who binge drink have a higher risk of experiencing alcohol poisoning, sexual dysfunction, and unintentional injuries. Overall, it is known that alcoholism leads to very severe health risks. An article published in the Journal of American Medical Association reported that alcoholism is a progressive disease and can often lead to death. 
alcoholism-related deaths can be caused by liver disease, neurological damage, cancer, malnutrition, heart disease, and diabetes. People who binge drink may find it hard to amend the way that they consume alcohol. According to the NIAAA, brief interven interventions can help, which include several short one-on-one -on -one sessions with a qualified counselor. This includes a discussion on how the person drinks and why that drinking pattern seems comfortable to that person. After this, they may develop a step-by-step -step plan that the person can use in order to change their drinking habits. However, some people with binge drinking issues are required to enroll in a formal rehab program that combines counseling and support group work in order to recover. People with alcoholism endure very serious health risks if they attempt to get sober alone. Long-term alcohol abuse can change chemical signaling within the brain, and without alcohol, people with alcoholism can experience seizures. Medical detox teams can use medications to soothe those worries so people can get sober without feeling ill. That medical detox work must be followed by a formal rehab program in which people will work with counselors, social workers, lifestyle coaches, and peers in order to develop a targeted set of skills. If one suspects that they are frequently binge drinking, it is extremely important to consult with a licensed medical health professional who specializes in addictive behaviors regarding their use of alcohol. A mental health professional can, be, can perform a formal assessment of the individual and then make recommendations regarding how the person should proceed. Individuals who develop issues with problematic use of drugs and alcohol require professional assistance and support. There is no shame in asking for assistance and seeking help from others should not be viewed as a sign of weakness. Instead, it should be viewed as a sign of strength that one is willing to accept their limitations and attempt to resolve their issues.